Be a man. Experience! Hey, who is me? Be a man? Yeah. <laughs> you ready to preach? Preacher? Yep. What do you do when someone says they're blowing smoke up your ass? Get a cigar and blow smoke up their ass. What do you do if somebody wants to talk to you about the weather? Tell them to fuck off. I know what the weather's like. I can look out the fucking window. <laughs> not a world of men. I want you to be a man. You could just be a man in this one moment. I gotta be a man. Be a man. It's be a man time. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Am I supposed to be a man? Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. You can act like a man. Be a man. So be a man. What are the sayings, the things that people say, you know, sayings? Well, I mean, the best saying in the world is, be a man. That's, well, who? That is the saying right? of our time. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's a good fucking saying yeah. that has stood the test of time. How about, how about have a fucking beer? That's Beautiful yeah. saying. Just have a couple of beers. But how about these <laughs> asshole sayings from back in the day or certain type of people say, you know what I really hate is the saying when people are talking to you and every, every, after every sentence, they go, you hear me? You hear me? You understand me? I go, you know I'm, I'm saying? fucking sitting right next to you. Of course I fucking hear you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're so fucking enlightened, I can't follow you. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> Come on. I'm known for saying, you know, because people always I, they I say, imitate me. They say, you know, you know. Hey, you know, we, you, me, tons, we do whatever the fuck we want. Oh, We're exempt from criticism. <laughs> but when other people do the same shit, I don't like it. I hate yeah, it. Yeah, I know. But the corny sayings are really, like, your parents, did they have any sayings? Any weird yeah, sayings? Yeah, they, everybody was a fucking phony, a drip. Um, <laughs> you know, they, uh, you know, just, they, they're very easy to criticize a lot of people. And, like, I can't believe, especially my mother. It's more of an insult. My father, I can see it, but my mother was just talking about people in front of the in front of the kids yeah. like i never said anything about adults or anybody else in front of my kids when yeah. we were younger because they you know, impressionable right but i mean it may be who i am today what can i say <laughs> yeah like my old man used to say what, what, what are you a comedian <laughs> <laughs> what are you a fucking comedian <laughs> yeah well his, his thing you're with, a comedian his thing with me and my brother was i'll push your fucking face in. <laughs> i'll push your face in. <laughs> See, yeah. you're gonna get the strap See, those are yeah, sayings yeah. out of the mainstream. Yeah. Those aren't like your classic, like, uh, well, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah. talking about those sayings. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's so many of those. That one, like, what does that one mean? I think that should kind of be, like, a, a part of this episode is really deciphering what these things are supposed to be. Right. Yeah. We've heard them our whole fucking lives. What does it mean? A have your cake and eat it, too. What yeah. does that mean? I hope I, I never I say that myself. If I do, somebody slap I me. I think it's, you get the best of both worlds. I think that's what right. that, that means, right? I yeah, mean. but yeah, like to, to analyze it literally, go, well, you can have the cake, but you can't eat it. Well, what mm -hmm. the fuck am I yeah. going to do with it? You get yeah. <laughs> why, why, why do I possess cake if I'm not going to eat it? Yeah, if I can't eat it, then guess what? I don't want it. <laughs> Shove it up your fucking ass. Yeah. <laughs> he has fucking his $10 million that you can't spend. Well, at the end of the day. That's oh, kind of I noticed. You notice these things phase out a little bit. That was hot and heavy for two, three years. I do notice it's kind of fading a little bit. Yeah. You notice that? Yeah. You don't get it. How about but, not for nothing? Yeah, yeah, right. Not for nothing, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not for nothing, though. Uh, to make a long story short, I'm going to continue for another 20 fucking minutes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how, make how a long story short. <laughs> M money can't buy happiness. Yeah, it can. Give That's me some fucking money and I'm fucking happy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bunch of bullshit. Money certainly buys fucking happy. At least yes. hookers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like that's that's kind of like a cocaine, man. That's kind of a saying too. More money, more more problems. I don't fucking think no, so. I'll no. take the problems. Just give me the fucking money. Yeah, right. no shit. I I'm already dealing with problems. I know how to deal with problems. I don't know how to deal with money. Yeah, yeah. That's a fucking that's, I'll take that on any day of the fucking week. <laughs> Her old man, he's in North Dakota and he's got some fucking sayings that uh, we sure. can't even relate to. Oh yeah. He'll go, "Ah, shit house mouse." Yeah. I go, "What?" <laughs> What the fuck did you just say? Shit house mouse. Sounds like a 1950s song. Isn't it? Yeah. There was fuck. one there was one a guy uh, that I worked with, he used to say, came out faster than shit in a tin whistle. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. that's a long one. How about shit on a shingle? <laughs> <laughs>
yeah. shit on a shingle. <laughs> How about go shit in your hat? Oh, the best. Oh, that's that so was good. my father's. That is a good yeah, one. That's great. That, you're right. That's a daddy one. Yeah. That was big in the. Uncle Junior says that in the fucking Sopranos. Yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> go shit in your hat. He's in the, of that age. First of all, hats. I mean, I don't even wear a fucking. You guys wear ball caps now. Yeah. But back then, they were thinking ball of the, cap. They were thinking of the other fucking hats, like a fedora. Oh, yeah. Go yeah. shit in your nice yeah, fucking yeah. fancy hat. <laughs> <laughs> I always like go pound sand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, think about it. What, what, do, what do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, T- just go show me. Take go your and frustrations punch the out. fucking beach. Yeah, well, I just go to the, fucking I, take your frustrations I, out. I, you mean I go to the beach and I punch the sand? Oh. They don't get it. How about if I pound the broad on the sand? <laughs> yeah, it's a, well, I mean, if you sit there and you're punching the sand, you're essentially not accomplishing anything. Yeah, you're not doing anything, that? right? Punch so that's sand. what it is. Go pound sand. Go fuck yourself. Do anything. Yeah. You know, do, do whatever. It's not going to make a difference. Anything that ends up up your ass, I like. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're shoving up your ass. Blow it out your yeah, ass. That's, a, that, that's your a great ass. one. That's a great one. <laughs> your sister's ass. Uh, your sister's ass yep. is a classic. That's a great one, yeah. isn't it? Your sister's how about, ass. How about your sister's cunt? That's even better. That, that's that was, a little more graphic. That, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a my of daddy one or whatever. You know something? Yeah. I noticed a lot of North Enders, men and women that I've met over the years, that's their number one fucking go-to saying is your sister's cunt or your mother's cunt. Oh, the women say it too. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get their well, phone numbers? When it comes from an Italian chick from the North End, yeah. you go, I, I, I can picture that coming out of your mouth. I'm not yeah. offended. I yeah. get it. A lot of these phrases that we're talking about today have been around for fucking hundreds of years. Right. Yeah. And the people that say them, now you have to look at them twice and analyze the person saying them. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't. Some of the shit we're gonna, about to go over, people we know don't talk this way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. I mean, are you saying it because that's something you grew up with? Or are you saying it because it's the cool thing to say? And that's like what like a lot of people now are doing. They're just saying like the cool thing. Holy smokes. What, <laughs> what the fuck's that mean? How, yeah, what? <laughs> how, how, about, how about did you get your pipes cleaned? Speaking of smokes, a fucking classic. Uh, Where's so and so? He's getting his fucking pipes clean. Yeah. <laughs> How about if you're gonna fucking punch somebody in the face? I'm gonna clean your cloth. Yeah, yeah. right. What the fuck does that mean? What am I gonna get a fucking cloth and fucking <laughs> wh- shut it down? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to clean. What, what, your head's a fucking clock now. Yeah. I'm going to get some fucking Windex and fucking mace you in the face with it. Yeah, give me a fucking chamois towel. I'll fucking clean it up for you. Then I'll kick you with the balls. <laughs> I'm going to clean your clock. Right. Put up your fucking dukes. Yeah. <laughs> Put them up. Yeah, those my grandfather always used to say, wish in one hand, shit in the other, and see which fills up quicker. Right. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> Minahan just said that on his podcast the other day. Did so I? I probably got that from his father. <laughs> hey, a bird in one's hand is three in the bush. What is it? Yeah, <laughs> bird in the hand is yeah, better what? than one in the bush. What the fuck is something. that? What is that? Be, I, don't be greedy. Take what you got. Really? I think, right? I oh, think, okay. I, think I like it better if the person just said, don't be greedy. Take what you got. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I remember a guy in The Sopranos, a writer, we're talking about like future episodes, this and that. And, uh,. He goes, I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to put a bee in my bonnet. Oh, and, I, and he goes, and he stops. He goes, <laughs> he goes, did I just say a fucking bee in my bonnet? I yeah. go, you did. He goes, so does that he mean goes, a bumblebee or is it a letter bee? <laughs> I guess that's a fucking reminder if you got a bee in your bonnet yeah, flying around. Like stinging your skull. Guess, yeah. you, you'll rem- Why is that? Oh, right, right. I was supposed to call so-and-so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's an old one. I remember the first time I heard it, I thought it was the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard. Of My friend's father was like, you know what? You're softer than a sneaker full of shit. Oh, that's, that's a, a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. And that's, that's, you don't need any explanation there. You can picture a He's giant a fucking universal. turd yeah. in a fucking Air Force One just fucking full to the brim. <laughs> they meant the old sneakers, though. The fucking canvas ones from back in the yeah, day. The Converse. Oh, yeah. Doesn't apply as much nowadays, right? Yeah, right, right. Oh, yeah, Jesus. I'd imagine a fucking Chuck Taylor full of shit would be pretty soft. (laughs) That's when it was invented. Yeah. Around that time. Back in the Chuck days. (laughs) I had this guy, right, his father. You'd never picture him. His favorite saying was, I I figure it was something trite. And he says, she's uglier than a cartload of pickled foreskins. (laughs) Jesus Christ. I go, that's a good one. Isn't that fucking great? That's a good one. It's very graphic. That is very graphic. (laughs) (laughs) I go, your old man said that? That's fucking awesome. (laughs) 
You got the guy that talks all the time, fucking, oh, you could talk a dog off a meat wagon. Right. Yeah. I never got that. <laughs> right. Oh, he can sell sand to the fucking Arabs or whatever. Sell <laughs> yeah. snow to an Eskimo. Yeah. Yeah. Sell snow to an Eskimo. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm going to buy you fucking, even an Eskimo wouldn't buy fucking snow. Nobody's <laughs> buying snow. Snow what? sells snow to your Eskimo brother. <laughs> right, right, right. Sell fucking snow, right? But like, how? Like, has anybody? How did that become a thing? Because there's no market for snow. Nobody sells snow. Nobody buys snow. No. So why so, would there be like that comparable? Yeah. So gr- growing up, you know, the word "dope" meant you're a fucking idiot, right? Right. Oh, yeah. So now "dope" means good. So I sold something to a kid, and he was like, "Dope." I was like, "What? <laughs> That's dope." Actually, it had three incarnations. Yeah. It was dope. You were a fucking moron. Then dope was like drugs. Drugs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now dope is you're fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Something good. <laughs> who who did this? Well, well, that was uh, that was I I would say the uh, hip hop generation. Yeah, that was a, that was go. a part because a lot of slang and fucking phrases you came out part of that, of that shit. man. Oh yeah, and a lot of them I fucking hate. You know which one I can't stand is you the man. And then, yeah, right. and then, and then, nine times out of ten, when I hear it, I hear it's like a fifty-five, six-year-old guy saying it, and it's like, yeah, I don't know, that's a little yeah, out of your shit. fucking school, <laughs> you know. So, like the the older people that say like new hip hop slang, like, oh, that's the bomb. Yeah. How about you fly? Is that still around? You fly? You fly? <laughs> that used to be your cool, right? Fly, fly. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> fly still around. There was so many bad ones. The fucking like, of, of course, all the Snoop Dogg shit. The fucking uh, for shizzle. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's always fucking like seventy year old ladies that are saying it. And it's like, Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I feel a lot of these things are going by the wayside. Some of these fucking corny ones. Yeah. I but, mean, as the people die off, like yeah. for example, my kids, they'll never ever utter any of this shit. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Some of the trendy ones, maybe, but the old ones, they're going bye bye. But they, but they come back. I mean, I'd say like the bomb was something that was in the early '90s, and then no, like uh, people stop yeah, saying it. I don't say that. You, I don't like it. No, people say it all the time now in regards to food. That's the only word they can use instead of delicious or delectable or whatever the fuck. <laughs> steak Every, bomb. Yeah, no, but uh, who I could go for a fucking steak bomb? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, but everybody always says, oh, that's bomb. That's bomb. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Have you ever had the pizza over at so-and-so? That's, that's like bomb. a girl saying, I think, mostly, right? Yeah. That's like a, more of a girl saying. How about cross my heart and hope to die? That's a heavy one. That's Is, isn't there deep. Like a, isn't there a couple other things you can say after that? To get cross out of it? Ho- Stick no, your needle like cross- in an eye. Yeah, yeah. Right. Some of these things, like cross my heart, hope to die, you can magically cross your fingers and be exempt from the promise. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Say, I'm going to say a lie right now, but I'm going to cross my fingers, meaning fucking God's going to go, all right, no problem. Yeah, so you're good. I don't you're really go, you're going to heaven to, if you die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because if push comes to shove and I'm backed into the corner, I'll say anything yeah. to get out of it. <laughs> Are you telling the truth that I will get fucking brain cancer? I go, uh huh. Yeah. No, never, never, no. Yeah. <laughs> Like, like in court and shit, they're still making people swear in the Bible like that yeah, okay. holds any fucking weight. Yeah. Why don't yeah. they do it the way that fucking, like, if you're doing, sh- like, in some sort of sketchy deal with someone, and you're like, I need you to say that you swear on the life of your your wife and your kids and your family, but, that you swear on your family, something that's real, not fucking Jesus walking around and making water out of wine <laughs> that fucking holds no fucking weight. Nah. Well, if you cares. have your fingers crossed, you can, you can swear in it doesn't count. <laughs> That's right. Is that true? Yeah. Is, right? it, does it's that work? You're going to law. Right? Yeah. That was, it's a get out of jail free card, which is also a saying. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Right? That's Plus from a get a out of Monopoly. Jail. Right. right. Yeah. Huh. You use this get out of jail free card. Yeah. But is there is there a reason why there's so many fucking sayings like this? Is because a majority of the people out there in the world are just unoriginal fucking pricks and they can't have a conversation without quoting or ner- using ner- somebody nervous, else's words? Nervous energy. Yeah. Right? Just, yeah. Yeah. Pe- you know, there's people that like the kibitz. I don't kibitz. like kibitzers. Kibitz. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's like a Jewish. Yeah. That's like a Jewish. Like, uh, you know, my, the like, Jewish. Yeah, they have a lot of Jewish. Yeah. yeah. Like, my old man used to go to a coffee shop with a bunch of fucking eight, nine greaseball, be tired guys. <laughs> uh, I'm going to rain today, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, that's how that's what happens. Yeah, oh, yeah what else are you going to talk about? They uh, can't talk sh- about chasing Poontang because that's over for that crew. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So that's off the fucking table. 
talk about the social security talk about? check. Oh, yeah, social fuck- security check, fucking Medicare, <laughs> the <laughs> Red Sox. You go down to almost right. any Dunkin' Donuts in the fucking state, and there's a group of fucking retired contractors that are all just fucking sitting around. They're there every day. They're eating the same shit. They're drinking the same yeah. shit, and they're talking about the same shit every fucking yeah. day. Month by month, the fucking group member disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Where's fucking Ted? Oh, he won't be down for breakfast. They... <laughs> They just start d- dissolving out of the photo, like back to the future. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what's great about those fucking guys? The next day they're there for coffee, they go, oh, fuck it, like, carry on. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't phase them. No, at that point, they drop it like fucking flies. Oh, yeah, they can't even keep track. <laughs> <laughs> what a cruel, miserable fucking existence, isn't it? Yeah. I know three people, one like kind of new. Fucking drop dead in the last two three weeks. Oh really? Jesus like Christ! Like a fucking light switch going off. Yeah, you never know. When your numbers I up, mean, your number, when your numbers up, your numbers up. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Ah. Hey, it wasn't his time, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all good, all things happen for a reason. You know. Uh, How about God had other plans for him? Oh. Yeah. He survived that day. What was the other plan? To get hit by a bus two years from now. God just gained an angel. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, 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 right. But that's the thing. If if God's plan was to get everybody in fucking heaven so they could figure Marilyn Monroe and fucking play games, uh, play baseball with fucking Ted Williams. Did she shave her beaver? I th- no, those I don't know. No, yeah, no. it's all fucking it generational. Doc Bush. Yeah, no, yeah she, did, she, she, she died. died yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, matter of fact, when I used to see nudes of her with that big dark bush, I got a little fucking semi. Oh, yeah, she was. You? Yeah, not bad. Would you choke it to her? Yeah, absolutely. Rub one out, dude. When you saw the like back in the day, like even like the rub one out, (laughs) rub one out, (laughs) jerk off. (laughs) Oh yeah, how many sayings are there for that? Oh, choke the monkey, choke the chicken, choke the chicken. Yeah, I choke the bishop was one too. Yeah, (laughs) really. I never really heard that, but I kind of like that. Yeah, Yeah, that's That's bishop. That's that's classy. Yeah, Yeah, because (laughs) the the head looks like a fucking a bishop. The how about your German helmet? Yeah. Oh yeah. Fucking Kaiser Wilhelm. <laughs> <laughs> and how many fucking sayings are there for taking a piss? Oh, like, yeah. drain the main <laughs> vein. Yeah, you're going to drain <laughs> your vein here. <laughs> I'm going to go shake hands with the governor. Yeah, right. <laughs> Got to take a leak, pal. <laughs> One of my favorites for uh, taking a shit is dropping the kids off at the pool. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. I'm going to drop a deuce. <laughs> I like to, my favorite is take a crap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. You know what's great about people when you tell people what you're gonna do in there? I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, by the way, I'm going to take a shit. You happy? <laughs> you happy? I told you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You needed to fucking know that. How about if they're appalled? What, what's the matter? You never took a shit before? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll I'll still never understand it. I mean, take take a dump and taking a shit and all that stuff. It's it's. I don't understand why it's called taking it. You're not taking anything. You're leaving it. Yeah, you're yeah. releasing yeah, it. Exactly. You're releasing. Yeah. You know, like the fucking airplanes in World War II, the door opens and the fucking bombs fall out. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. They shrink their opens and <laughs> <laughs> fucking bombs away. <laughs> my, my uncle used to say, I'm going to release the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's descriptive. Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> so so many good ones. He put some thought into it. <laughs> How about passing gas? Uh, uh, fucking too civilized for me. Yeah, it is. That makes it more gross. You think of an old lady stinky farts when you hear that. Uh, yeah, think you of that old mean? lady with one arm. And they would, they would, they would say toot. <laughs> yeah. A little toot. Uh, Girl, girls don't fart. No, that's no. not the ones you hang out with, <laughs> be <being> man. <laughs> the when ones I hang out with, let it rip. Be honest. If you're dating a girl and she starts openly releasing gas, is it are you, is a relationship numbered? The days numbered of that relationship? Yeah, I mean, well, that's the, not gr- acceptable. the girls I go out with are civilized, not like me, because they're from other countries. The girls in this <laughs> country are a bunch of fucking animals. Oh, uh, yeah. I fucking, expect a woman to be able to hold her said. gas. Yeah, she's right about say, that. Is, is, is girls are fucking animals nowadays. That's what, that's that what used goddamn to woman lib, my father oh, said. Those God. woman libbers. <laughs> How about he's a good shit? Yeah, he's so, a good so, shit. So, so he's like a fucking a good looking piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> Eat shit and die. Eat shit and live. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I'm going to sit down, have a nice bowl of shit. <laughs> then, <laughs> and after that, I'm going to fucking die. That sounds great. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> there was one a buddy of mine said years ago from Miami. Fucking, I'd eat a mile of her shit just to get a taste of that ass. Yeah, oh, just, I like yeah, that I, one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was in Mad Magazine. There was a, you know, they had they had like the I-rated version. Yeah, so, right? that was correct. Remember, I remember there was like, um, I I need a bucket of her shit just to see her ass oh. or something. And, <laughs> the guy, and the guy came over with a bucket of shit for the guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I need I need a mile of her shit to see where it came from. Yeah, yeah, the classic. <laughs> yeah. So is you gonna see a fucking asshole who hasn't wiped yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'd eat the peanuts out of her shed. Uh, <laughs> eat the corn out of a crop. <laughs> uh, oh man! Well, I mean, the best saying you can have with a girl is, uh, "I want to eat your ass." <laughs> <laughs> How about if they say, "But, but I'm not fresh down there," and you say, "Take a shot." I don't huh? care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she'll take it really <laughs> <laughs> and if they let you go down there after that, they're as sick as you are. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. That yeah. is true. It's a two-sided uh, double-edged sword right there. That's fucking no man's yeah, land. That's a, that's a great saying for a girl. It's like, I want to kiss you everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> right. You say back up a second. Wait, wait, wait. You mean literally everywhere? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, uh, I, now I, I understand. I want to kiss you everywhere. Say no more. Really? <laughs> You're not like the if other If you get girls. one that runs in the shower after that, you know you got a good one. <laughs> <laughs> when they shit on a bar of Irish spring and go, I'm ready. Nice and fresh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about the saying, you don't say? No. What do you mean I don't say? Yeah. I just fucking said it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I just said it, and then you say you don't say. No, I did say. You don't say. <laughs> oh, you don't say. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> you know what's a, a classic that saw a big resurgence is having said that. Oh, right. That's, That's a fun one. You can do so much with that it. That being said. <laughs> that being said, both of those, yeah. basically two rights... You can say, you know, hey, you know, you're a great guy, this, this, and that. Having said that, you suck. I think you're a piece of shit and you yeah. should jump off a bridge. The Italian version is, with all the respect. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You're a fucking loser. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But but that, all, all, all the respect. No yeah. disrespect. <laughs> yeah. As long, no as, respect. as long as you say that, you can say anything you fucking yeah, want yeah, yeah. after. You know, but but all the respect, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> you know, the, <laughs> all due respect, you're a fucking idiot. All due respect, all due respect. <laughs> that's been around. That still goes. Yep, and yeah. that's yeah. That's still yeah, that's always a, that's, plays. A, that's a big attack. Yeah, I like it. I still yeah. like it. You? I do. Yeah. No, because if you're trying to make a point, you don't want to offend somebody with something you're going to say about <laughs> their family or something. It's kind of yeah. All you, you have to diffuse, do is say, it diffuses a little bit. Yeah, you bit. just say yeah. that, yeah. and then you can say your daughter's a fucking whore. Yeah, yeah, no disrespect. No but disrespect. You like I heard <laughs> some things. I heard some things that your yeah, daughter's yeah, fucking yeah. piping guys at the fucking <laughs> bus station. <laughs> pipe oh, job. Yeah. Pipe job is a great one. <laughs> fucking pipe, pipe job. <laughs> I need how about, that. Like how about a fucking uh, sayings for getting a bull job? I oh, uh, yeah. sucked off. Oh, I got a Sopranos. I said he's getting his weasel grease. Yeah, getting his weasel <laughs> grease. Yep. <laughs> getting his dick wet. That Smoke could be. him. Yeah, getting a smoke job. A smoke job? I never heard that. No. no. My friend Willie Salata used to try to put it in German or whatever. He goes, Mrs. Guten Morgen, I'd like some noggin on the old hogging. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> I need that like a hole in the head. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to have a fucking another hole in your head if you say that again. I'm going to hit you with a fucking hammer. <laughs> how about fucking, how about clean as a whistle? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, whistle, man. Is a whistle clean? Everyone's like spitting when they blow into yeah, it, right? It's like I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't make yeah. sense to me. As soon as you pick up a whistle and you like smell it before you blow into it, it doesn't I, smell good. No, it I never smell smelled it, but I'm gonna next time. It's smell a whistle, be a man. <laughs> it's loaded with the blower's saliva uh, and spittle yeah. from their filthy windpipe. Just fucking crusted, bad breath spittle. dried up, right? Uh, <laughs> and trapped. It's only got that little fucking <laughs> slit at the top to yeah, come out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and it's bouncing off of that little ball that's in there. That's oh. like a fucking <laughs> disease-riddled ball. <laughs> Stick a whistle up your broad's pussy, be a man. <laughs> Blow a whistle in your girl's squat. 
a fucking wet willy. Is that what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, the yeah. wet willy. That was the that was the finger in the air, right? The wet finger yeah, in yeah, the air. Right. The wet willy. Wet willy. <laughs> How about paint the town red? Yeah, right. That's uh, a good like. That's what? like. Uh, wasn't there a movie Clint Eastwood movie? Well, yeah, yeah. Paint the town red. But like, there, uh, I think so. What do you think the saying comes from? Like maybe like fucking like Vikings like raping and pillaging a new land. Fucking like blood. We're yeah, gonna it's, paint the town red with blood. Italian thing. Like that's that's bad. Like if you go wear red to someone's oh, wake, right. that's like that's an insult. It's fucking a that slap means in the you face. fucking hate the person who right. died. Yeah, yeah. How right. about the Italian ones? I'm sure you guys know. I know, John, you know a shitload of them. Like, fucking, some of them are so classic. Like, fucking Spoopati. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. There must be a Spoopati. Oh, yeah. the best. You'll suck the marrow oh, out of the bar. Uh, love it, love it. Because some people, the onlookers, say this, say it's a mixed crowd, and the Italian guys over there gnawing on a fucking bone, and to the other people go, but but there's not a shred of meat on the bone. They go, oh, no, no. He's going after the marrow. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> He's sucking the yes. marrow out of the internal piece of the bone. Yep. Flavor country. <laughs> <laughs> my broad came up with a great saying. And you, you go, I, I'll say, this is a great fucking saying. I put it in my script. She said this. I said, would you uh, bang so-and-so? We play that game now and then. Really? Yeah. She goes <laughs> like Well, I do that to yourself. I get fucking pissed at that. I don't, <laughs> right? I don't even give a fuck. It's a no-win situation. Yeah, well, I don't touch that game. I'll, I'll pick out three ugly guys in the neighborhood and go, <laughs> if you if a gun to us your head and you had to do one, I they're all bad choices. I don't want to know. She goes like this, a good one. She goes, I wouldn't bang him if you took the jaws of life to my twat. <laughs> wow. How fucking awesome is that say? That's a good that's a good broad right that's there. So is good. that a fucking saying or what? Really? From a North Dakota broad? I go, oh, yeah, that's honest great. to God, I fucking adore you now. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you're rubbing off on her, obviously. <laughs> she says that. She says, I never met anybody remotely in your fucking category. <laughs> She's got the best of both worlds, like normal North Dakota and a fucking nut like you now. <laughs> yeah. <Right? laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, it's fucking culture, fucking poof. Yeah, you know, I've been working out a lot this week. I'm feeling fit as a fiddle. All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that? I don't get it. What is, is, it, is that? Is a fiddle in good shape, I guess? Yeah, does a fiddle fucking lift weights, too? Yeah, I guess. I no, mean, I mean, a fiddle, like a violin? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's stupid what's, the what's the difference? Right, I you know. I don't know. Well, the Three Stooges played fiddles, <laughs> oh. and then the fucking the orchestra <laughs> plays a violin. Well, Larry was oh, yeah. a... Um, he was a musician. Yeah, he was yeah, a musician yeah, yeah, yeah. in real Poor life. Poor prick, he ended up in the fucking actor's home without a pot to piss in. Yeah. Pot to piss in. Pot to piss, oh! yeah. <laughs> he didn't have a fucking pot to piss in. And I mean, if you think of <laughs> yeah. that, how old does that one have to be? It's got to be like 300 years old, Yeah, right? but here's yeah. the beauty of it. Guys like us, we go, and, and not just us, everybody, apparently... <laughs> I'll piss and shit in the fucking street. I don't no, need yeah. a, I don't need oh, a, yeah. I don't need no pot. I piss I piss right down yesterday afternoon I pissed right on Summer Street in, in South Boston. I pissed right in the street. Fuck yeah, nobody cares. Yeah. I feel it's Put the door now. open fucking piss right there. I piss in glass uh, the glass coffee cups from the house and I throw them in the dishwasher. I, I mean obviously it's gonna be clean. Yeah, it's gonna, oh, yeah. But if she knew that she'd throw the whole set away. <laughs> but they don't know won't hurt her. Yeah. That's why I know she doesn't listen this deep into the fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> every time, every she stopped t- listening when we were talking about shit. Yeah. <laughs> shit we- <laughs> every time I watch like something like fucking like Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings, <laughs> and they're in those fucking like giant high towers, like in the in the castles, and they have the room that it's just a hole in it, and it's a chute that goes down, and fucking it's like thirty stories, and then people are fucking shoveling your shit into a fucking wheelbarrow and moving it down the street. <laughs> Shoveling uh, shit. Shovel I w- shit. Yeah. I would have loved that. That sound. Oh. 20 story shit. That must be something. Plopping. Wasn't there a <laughs> saying shoveling shit against the tide? Yeah, shoveling oh, yeah. shit, against, shoveling the tide. shit yeah. against the tide. Who, who did that? So get, you got to stand on the shore of an ocean, right? <laughs> the wave's coming, you throw the shit at the wave, and it comes. I don't get it. Yeah, you well, get, where I are you getting? Get no, you get no. Yeah, you get, you get nowhere, nowhere, right? But, yeah. Well, uh, where are you getting all the shit? Is my fucking thing. You know what's funny, though? Like you said to my kids, and I said to him, you're shoveling shit against the tide. They'll go, what the fuck are you saying? They'll go, <laughs> and then if I just say like this, you're going nowhere. He'll go, oh, I get that. Yeah, right, oh, right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. So why do you guys have a stupid saying? <laughs> yeah, because you're you're afraid that like the original sentence that you would say would almost be too abrasive. Right. If you say a saying that maybe it kind of takes like the wind out of the sails yeah, a little like bit. Yeah, like everybody says the sails. That. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it softens the blow. You right. Know? Wind out of the sails. Yeah. <laughs> That's I a always, good one. I always like 
I like the cut of his jib. You know, right. like that's 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 a good one. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that means, but it sounds pretty <laughs> good. How about sports sayings that have made it into regular life? Oh, oh go dude. god, yeah. Beast mode. Shove oh, it up beast your mode. Shove it up your fucking clam Ooh, rack. He's Otto. in beast mode. He's in beast mode. No. Beast mode engage. Yes, yeah, stand back. Stand back. <laughs> the tiger's been let out of the cage. <laughs> <laughs> Without getting too inside baseball, that's one. They, when they talk uh, yeah. politics yeah, yeah, on these yeah. shows, they go, well, you know, without getting into the weeds or without getting into inside baseball. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, what do you mean? We're talking about politics. Why'd you mention baseball? Yeah. <laughs> In the weeds was always uh, a saying I'd use, you know, like if shit wasn't going good at home or with the broad. Oh, how you been? Uh, I'm in the fucking weeds. <laughs> yeah. I like the... the uh, the North Dakotans with the depression or whatever. They go, what's happened to so-and-so? Oh, he's in the tank. <laughs> in other words, you're morbidly depressed and ready to jump off a fucking building. Oh, he's in the tank. He's in the tank. He's come out uh, of his room in a week. How about happy as a clam? <laughs> yeah, right. Clam's happy not until you fucking eat him. Fucking throw him in the fryer. Then. Yeah. Fucking clam doesn't even have a face or a personality. How can they be happy? No. Yeah, to, well, because they're buried in the fucking sand and nobody can find them. Right. Like... <laughs> Don't bury your head in the sand and think you can yep. forget about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's high as a kite. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> high as a kite is good. I don't even see kites anymore. It's a, I see the kite surfers, but not regular kites. <laughs> kites. I never flew a kite with my kids. Am I a bad father for that? <laughs> I don't, you know what? I don't know if I did either. Oh, I flew a kite with a broad once. It was the gayest fucking thing I've ever done. Did you get laid? <sighs> yeah, I did. Oh. I did. I did. All right. We got a payoff. Yeah, there was a payoff, I guess. Yeah. But still, that's a tough one. I, I remember hearing somebody say, uh, oh, you don't want to mess with that guy. It's like fighting an army with a handgun. <laughs> 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 one man gang. For the grace of God, go I. Or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a guy gets his fucking head chopped off, right? And you say, oh, <laughs> the grace of God. So in other words, God selected that man to get his fucking head cut off, but he loves you so much, you were spared? Yeah. Mm. It's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it is. For the grace of God, it could have been us. I mean, Jesus, there's a lot of fucking, like, religious sayings. Jesus, oh. Mary, and Joseph. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you weren't allowed to say that around your parents, though. No, that's a swear. Or for Christ's sake. You All couldn't right. say that, no, but you a, could. That's a swear. You could right. say, for Pete's sake, though. All Pete's right. sake was the uh, PG version of Christ's sake. Who the hell's Pete? <laughs> Who the hell is know. Pete? That's right. They don't mean fucking St. Peter, do they? I'd Pete? imagine they do. Probably, right? Since it's religious. Sake, yeah. yeah, was he a good guy? Or? I mean, is, I mean yeah, if you was, say. He was a good saint, right? Yeah. yeah if you good. say, for Christ's sake, that, I mean, what's so bad about it? Even yeah, if, if, you say, if you say it that way, it's not bad, right? For, Christ's, for sake. Christ's sake. If you say Jesus Christ in anger, that's bad. But I, You're right. right. But I feel the, the way for Christ, nobody says Christ. They go, cry. Ah, for Christ's sake. Yeah, it's yeah. abbreviated. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think they mean Christ when they say it. It's just a <laughs> saying. Yeah. People don't know what the fuck they're saying. I like uh, Christ on a cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, Christ on a cross. Leave it alone. Yeah. One guy said to me, it's not quite a saying, he goes, if I'm lying to you, may my mother come down from heaven and die again. <laughs> <laughs> that is so she's going to make an appearance, you're yeah, all happy, yeah, right. she's going to croak in front of you. <laughs> say, yeah, but that but that won't be fucking happening. You could say that all day. I don't, I, that doesn't persuade the, me. The devil made me do it. Yeah. Uh, it was though he was the devil himself. <laughs> he was possessed by the devil himself. Yeah, temporarily insane. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. You know, as long as you take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I never really understood that one. Oh. I mean, a grain like, of salt is is very tiny. small. Yeah. It's very microscopic. Yeah, so it's just, like, just uh, you know, don't, don't worry about. It. Don't pay attention to it at all. Yeah. It's like, listen, uh, turn over t- a new leaf. Yeah, turn over a new What's leaf. What's that? Because a paper used to be considered like a leaf. Is that is what that, it is? Is that? Am I thinking about that right? Yeah, turn and You're some, right. some people say sense. that in regards to you I mean, know, know I'm turning the page. Yeah, yeah, okay. you know, like yeah, right, right, that right. makes sense that the leaf yeah. was a piece of paper because if you got to literally get a new leaf and go, oh, it's a new leaf, but it's still a leaf, not on a tree. Mm-hmm. What do we yeah. do with it? Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> I don't collect fucking leafs. Never look a gift hoss in the mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> I never right, understood right. that one. I don't well, even if look. You get something for free. Just take it. Don't fucking be an asshole about yeah. it. You know, what if don't look it in the mouth, though? Because they used to check them out, look at their teeth, make sure the teeth were good. Oh, yeah. yeah the old fucking inspection time. Yeah. Or if they say a gift horse. If somebody gave me a fucking gift, it, I had a gift for you on some horse, I'll go, take it back. I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. I'm giving you a gift horse. Don't look it in the mouth. I go, I don't want to look it in the mouth, and I don't want the fucking gift. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shove it up your yeah. ass. <laughs> if, you, if you're going to take it, don't look in the mouth. and Don't check your teeth. Just take it. Yeah, just take the horse. Just be happy someone gave <laughs> it. And then you. fucking send it to the glue factory after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bat shit crazy. Oh. Is bat shit crazy? Yeah. For a bat, is a bat even crazy? Is shit crazy? And well, I mean, shit. I'd say bats are pretty fucking crazy because they're erratic. Yeah, they're they fucking, fucking <laughs> fly around. They're fucking everywhere. You know, they're elusive. Well, why isn't it called bat crazy? Yet they're fucking incredibly blind, but yet they can get away. It's, it's a mouse with wings, basically. <laughs> yeah. Right? Nah, I, don't yeah, like it. I yeah. told you I fucking killed a bat. Oh, yeah. You fucking hit him a fucking two-hander with a tennis racket. Yeah, the best. Fucking instant death. <laughs> yeah, because they get that built-in radar, but if you get him a yeah, racket... you didn't fucking him. see that coming. Yeah, if you get like a, <laughs> like a broom handle, it's yep. tough to get him. It was a racket. I covered a lot of area, and the beautiful thing is I lied and wait. <laughs> <laughs> he came at me. It was fucking like fo- <laughs> fucking me. Boom! Lied and wait. Lied and wait's a good one. Lying and wait. Yeah. <laughs> Caves like an animal. Right? Crazier than a shit house rat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be a man. Experience. I think probably a lot of nervous energy when someone says something they want to get their point across. If they they want to make it like a better point, maybe they add a little twist to it by putting a saying in there. Yeah. I think these sayings like they've evolved over like hundreds of years, so they're universal. They're handed down, handed down. So. People, like you say, truly understand what you mean. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, okay. You hit them with a fucking saying. Yeah. You yeah, sometimes I mean? it's it's just the it's the little more grit on the tit that you need to get oh, your that's point a, across. That's a nice one. Thank grit you. on the tit. I like that. Thank it's like you. creative writing or something, right? It's a little flourish to it. Yeah, yeah it is. You know and, I mean? and like we were saying, it kind of softens the blow if you hear something that you've heard before. Right. And it's like... Listen, what I'm about to say, I didn't make it up. Everybody's saying this. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the Be a man. Experience.